Food price volatility <coughs> affects poor people. It affects poor people who are on low incomes or low levels of uh, well-being, even if they're not actually poor. A vulnerable household is a household for which there's a significant probability that it will become poor in the face of an adverse shock. Um, high food prices is just such an adverse shock, and so it can move a family which is just keeping itself out of poverty into poverty. So food price volatility, both in the developed and in the developing world, has a strong effects on uh, households who are at the bottom of the pile or towards the bottom of the pile. Uh, and uh, in a lot of poor countries, that may mean most households. But what should be done about food volatility, I find that much more difficult. Um, <clears throat> the, the issue there is whether it's generated by um, things which are happening in the world of physical supply and demand or whether it's an, an ephemeral phenomenon of the pricing mechanism. Um, on the whole, I tend to take the view that although there are some financial market effects on food price volatility, most of it comes out of movements in physical supply and demand. There's a lot of experience around the world in food price stabilisation, some successful and some very unsuccessful. So I think one of the things which uh, should be emphasised is that countries which have not had a lot of success should try to learn from countries which have had success. And the countries which have had success are typically in Asia rather than in Africa or Latin America uh, and um, have typically been near food balance rather than wholly dependent on imported foodstuffs. Um, I think for a country which is wholly dependent on importing food, it, it's quite difficult to insulate yourself from world markets, rather obviously. For countries which are sort of 80, 90 percent self-sufficient, or which have to import occasionally in the case of a bad harvest, there is considerable experience, I think particularly in Southeast Asia, on how uh, this can be better managed than it has always than it has been managed in, in certain countries in the past and in particular in Africa um, the management of food security has uh, been far from ideal.